What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Afterwards Plus. In this episode, I think the main goal is going to be unlocking Samson, because I've tried like a couple times before and we have not uh, succeeded in doing so. So um, I think um, I'm going to try that again. I'm going to be Azazel. I think I was him last time and I failed. So uh, let's try this again, I guess. So it was be two levels without taking damage. It's not too hard of a, um, a challenge, I don't think. I was just like taking stupid damage a lot, I guess. I don't know. Blue Brim Cells, that's, that's actually uh, very fitting <laughs> with the Zazel. Um, okay, yeah, the main goal of this episode, I think, is to just... Oh, I forgot Little Brimstone was changed to the... so you can destroy fires and stuff now. Uh, anyway, um, the main goal of this episode is to just unlock Samson. I think that's a reasonable enough goal. I mean, it is an achievement we have to complete eventually. And, you know, he's a character we have to complete things for. So, we may as well unlock him sooner rather than later. Um, yeah, because we unlock him very late, then we'll have to do all the stuff we've done for all of the characters again. So, yeah, no reason not to unlock him now to get it out of the way. And plus, he's a pretty interesting character in his own right. But we'll find out that about him soon enough. Okay, the haunt shouldn't be too bad, especially because we have Little Brimstone um, in our own Little Brimstone, in a sense, I guess. I never really thought about it like that, but Azazel's Brimstone is actually like Little Brimstone. Okay, I'll stop. Uh, Pageant Boy, okay, some money. Luck upgrade, maybe? I don't, I don't see one. Okay. In case you don't know the luck upgrades, uh, the pennies with their luck upgrades um, were reskinned to have like a green tint to them in, in the uh, newest booster pack. I know saying, new, saying uh, newest is kind of not correct at this point because. Well, it is correct, but it's not. It doesn't really do this booster pack any service, really, because the booster pack's been out for like a long time. Um, I think I'm just gonna use the Emperor here. I probably could save it for like the womb or something, but I don't think it'll be necessary. So if it's two levels without taking damage, after um, technically we could just finish this boss room and go to the next floor and have him, have him unlocked. But I kind of want to like actually try for some things. I was actually planning on doing, um, oh, here's the seat, by the way, L9T6C9AAE. I was planning on doing the greedier, um, a greedier run. Basement boy achieves. Okay, so that's that. The sprinkler is a the basement. Uh, so I was planning on doing greedier, but I forgot you had to have some prerequisites, prerequisites done to have the moto locks. Um, okay, this is a very difficult choice here, because, you know, Rotten Baby has the whole fly thing in Guppy's head. Contributes to Guppy. I think Guppy's head is better in this situation. Just because, okay, if this stays open, I get other soul hardware business, but um, Guppy's head, because, you know, the transformation one step closer, etc., etc. Um, and plus, the uh, flies every room. Definitely a big help. Um, I suppose we also could try going for the other achievements that require not taking damage for two floors, such as, like, the womb one or, like, the whatever, the caves. Uh, so I guess this, uh, I guess that we should do other stuff too. Oh, actually, no, we have Basement Boy, but we didn't get the uh, Samson unlock yet. So I think you only get that after you finish the floor and go to the next one. So I guess we still gotta be careful. Um, but I think we should be okay though. I just want a key gets to the item room. That's basically, oh, whoops. That's basically why the only thing I want right now. Accidentally, um, clicked the minimize button for Isaac. Uh, okay. Flatworm, no reason to have that really. It doesn't really affect the brimstone laser. Um, okay, I may try to get a key. Um, give me a key, please. It's a penny. Don't think you, I don't think that's really what a key looks like, I'm sorry to say. Oh, good, that fly just hurt me. That's good. Oh, but, okay, give me bombs or key. Bombs are okay. <laughs> what? Excuse me? <laughs> that what? What just happened? I'm actually like What? <laughs> Is this like voice controlled? Give me polythemus. Okay, I was gonna say. That's still a pretty good item. 
But wow. I, asking you shall receive, I guess. Actually, I have no reason not to do this. Asking you shall receive, I guess. Oh, I took damage too from the fly. No, no Samson. Mm. That sucks. But we did get basement boys, so that, that's something, definitely. Um. <laughs> no, but the bombs are key. I have no idea. Um, yeah. This game, like, is obviously voice controlled. I just figured it out, you know. Just say bombs are key. You got bombs are key pill. I don't know what else to say there. Pretty much. That's pretty much it, I guess. I don't know what else there is to say. I mean, I'm basically a hacker as well. I hacked the game to enable voice control mode, and that's that. That's totally what happened. I'm not being facetious or anything like that. No. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Oh, we got Mulligan. That's pretty, pretty solid. Um, very good with Brimstone, actually, because in the time that you're charging up your shots, you also generate flies. Because we, we just get it without Brimstone, or as it being Azazel, I guess. Another one. Um, oh, this is interesting. I never, don't think I've never seen this here before. Um, it only generates flies when you're shooting, so when you're charging, it counts as shooting, I guess. So Dim Bulb was actually a pretty decent item when you have Guppy's Head, just because Guppy's Head is usually not used, and Dim Bulb gives it a, gives a benefit when your active item is not charged. So that's pretty good. I may take Terra Cloth here. I think Mom's Key is pretty good too, but Terra Cloth I think is Two of space. not like better, but just well, yeah, better. Um, there are times when Mom's Key can be better, obviously, but it's situationally better. Terra Cloth is just kind of good. Um, yeah, so hopefully we can also get the uh, the caves achievement. I don't, I don't remember what the achievement that is, where you don't take damage on both caves floors, or catacombs, I guess, in this case. Uh, so I'll be trying to get that one. Tears up, oh nice. One makes you small, okay, not bad. Now we charge faster than our little brimstone. Um, secret room? No. Oh, we didn't get our item room yet. That's probably something we want to do. Devil deal, caffeine pill, balls of steel, nice. Oh no, it's spinning! No! Oh no, twice! <laughs> no, I knew I w I'm going to be accustomed to how to dodge that, but I still don't. I'm still not used to the little spinning thing. Uh, that sucks. So I guess it's basically just a basement boy run that's, that's Azel. <laughs> I guess that's how this run's gonna go if I keep taking, keep, uh, taking damage. Okay. Um. Where is. Oh, item room right there. <laughs> where is our item room? It just appears out of nowhere. Uh, piggy bank, okay, not too good, but not bad. It could be worse, definitely. Okay. Oh, well, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, oh, d go around, please. Okay. Cool. <laughs> and let's carry on to the next floor, I guess. Up, right, right, and down. Here we are. Catacombs 2. So I suppose we still can get the depth achievement. I'm not sure what the one's called, or the womb one for that matter. But judging by how much damage we've taken so far, I don't think it seems too likely. But who knows? Tower please, yes. Oh, I have Tarot Cloth, oh right, 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 right. They used it twice. I suppose it did help with killing Mega Fatty faster, but uh, that kind of scared me because I forgot it was affected by that, or rather, I forgot I had Terror Cloth. Oh, jeez. That's close. Cool, cool. Alright, so, how's this run going so far? This run's going pretty, pretty well, actually. I'm not entirely sure why we have 8.78 damage. We don't really have any damage modifiers, to my knowledge. I also, I'm, like, forgetting something very obvious. Um, we have Lump of Coal, which is technically a damage modifier, but it's not, like, visible on the stat screen. Um, 
I'm not sure. Uh, we didn't get like an HP up that gives you damage that I'm just forgetting about or anything. I'm not sure. <laughs> But I'll take it, you know, I'll, I'll take damage where I can get it. Clicker, that's probably not ideal. <laughs> Just going out of them and saying that. Although, no, I was going to say, if, although if it turns me into a character that we didn't complete something for, that we could complete this run, we could be in business, but I don't think that's uh, something we should do now. Azazel is probably what we should stick with for this run. Clicker is usually... Like, an interesting item at least, but it's probably usually never worth it. Let's just say that. For, for the chance that it can turn you, to, turn you into the Keeper or the Lost, I don't think it would be considered a worthwhile item to pick up. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna uh, stop right there. <laughs> So this rate, the run should be looks to be like it will be done like fairly soon. I mean, obviously it can't really say much because I don't know if we'll get like the curse of the uh, maze next floor or something like that or whatever because that could make the run go on like at least five minutes longer, which doesn't sound like a lot. But I mean, if we got two times in a row, we extra ten minutes into the video length, which is quite a lot of time if you think about it, especially for a game like this. Okay. Don't click the side things, please. Oh, what this chest? What is it doing? Consumables are pushing it into the wall. I think this is interesting. I don't want to. Oh, 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 that's nice. I don't want to click the the side button, the side lock things. Give me that penny. Give me, okay. Um, is this is like a pretty standard run? All things considered, I mean, yeah, we have some like modifiers and stuff like that, like tarot cloth and like basically tarot cloth, um, balls of steel. I mean, it's just like a like a bog standard, you know, just basic Isaac run. Not really much to say about it. Um, Mulligan is a pretty standard item, in my opinion. Uh, Little brimstone's pretty standard up there. Um, Lava coal is in the same boat, really. I mean. Not really too much to say about this run that's interesting. A pay to win, um, I think I'm going to take it. I'll tell you. Oh, that's why we had so much damage. Okay, okay. Um, going back on that statement immediately. I want this. This is the 3.53 damage upgrade. What? It's ridiculous. That's why it was so much damage. Um, I was going to take it because, you know, the reroll machines guaranteed in the item room. Wow, that was amazing. Um, but I think the extra 3.5 damage is definitely worth it. Okay, what do we have here? Definitely a credit card. That was amazing, too. Oh, good. That was amazing. -er. And we lost our chance for the achievement. That was amazing. Okay. Anyway. So we have credit card. Um, okay. Two of diamonds, right? That's tarot cloths. And I'm going to use High Priestess on the boss, right? Born here. I don't like these guys. Okay. Um, use this, this, and then leave. Go back, and then get this thing. Actually, no. Get the credit card, and use the credit card on the devil deal. Assuming we can actually make it there. Or in here, actually. If there's something good enough. <laughs> if there's something good enough, I'll definitely use it in here. Oh, what's this? Ooh. Okay, good thing I didn't keep it until then, because that's not worth it. Uh, Hive Mind, I'm going to take, because it's on sale, and not credit card it. Restock, that that's the ticket right there. Now, if we could just get a Steam sale, I mean, I mean, uh, uh, wait, no. You get three cent items so I can get a bunch of three cent item pedestals. Um, I guess this is fine for now. Mystery gift, ooh. The coupon is free in the basement, nice. Let's use it here. Okay, tier detonator, that's probably not good. I'm just going out of them and saying that, you know, it's probably not 
in my best interest to, you know, bring that with me. Okay, now I'm going to um, roll again. What was this? Two spades. I suppose I could go until I get two diamonds and just get a bunch of money right off the bat. Or do... Wow, okay. The Hierophant. This is like greed mode strats here. <laughs> Never really thought about it like this. Another credit card, hey. Uh, okay, so I'm just going to do this, I guess. Okay, broke, okay. so I'm going to get a credit card here and bring the other one to the Devil Deal next floor, I guess? If there's even one. I mean, sure. I mean, that seems like a reasonable thing to do. You know, what's this? Power pill. Power pill. Huh. Oh, I'm very fast for some reason. Okay. <laughs> Alright, um. Fill that up. Yeah, high bite is probably the biggest game changer we got in there. Besides, like, restock. Or perhaps even Mom's Purse. Just because of the extra damage the flies um, do could be like, ridiculous. The mul mulligan and hive mind could honest and being a Zazel obviously could not, or having brimstone, but whatever. Um, are probably yeah, actually that's fine. Are probably items that could carry you through the game. To be or not even being facetious. Um, it doubles your rate of fire, but also doubles your damage. I think I'm gonna take it. And may they gave me one extra <laughs> and double. Um, I think that it was worth it. I don't know. I think it's gonna scale. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't take that long to charge up, but and you get double damage. It takes a slightly longer time to charge up, and you get double damage. I, mean, I think that's worth it. Um, no, but I think Hive Mind and uh, the Mulligan can carry you through a run, giving you have, like decent damage, like okay damage, just because they're like, so good. They work so well together. <laughs> Um, yeah. Alright, um, what's this? Soul Hearts. Alright. So let's go, this run's going much faster than I thought it would, actually. Yeah, I know I said I thought it would go fast, like, earlier on, but I didn't think it would go this fast. Um, I guess that's in part by, you know, oh, here's up. In part by the help that Eve's Mascara has bestowed us. As well as actually the Flies Mulligan gives, because those are also increased in damage because of Eve's Mascara. And so we're we're cruising. We're we're unstoppable at this point. Um, yeah. <laughs> Basically how it goes. Just walk around with the flies, the flies will take care of everything. I know these guys are dips, but yeah. <laughs> you think you can stop me? Ha ha ha. Yara. Uh, okay, I think I'm gonna get Yara the credit card. Oh, it's Tarot Cloth. I forgot I should have saved it. Oh no. Mm, really should have saved that. I almost forgot our item room again. That would not have been good. Now would it, then? Now would it? Be? Yes. Die, okay. I know it looks like I'm trying to rush this run, but I'm really not. Just the damage output is like ridiculously strong. That it's just like, you can't stop, you can't stop it. I don't, nothing else to really say. Just like, you can't slow down at this point. <laughs> There's our item room. And, oh, whoa, that was definitely worth it. 29.04 damage. That was definitely worth it for I'm um, going back for. That's for sure. I like how we can still make the um, boss rush, too. Um, I'll open this. Hey, HP upgrade. And Isaac. Ha! Wow, that was very fast. Okay. Um, sure, I'll credit card this. And the Faith Against Here worth, is worth it. I don't think these items are worth it. We already got um, Boss Rush done for this character, so I don't think those are worth investing the time into doing the Boss Rush for. Curse of the Maze. Okay, there's that. I talked about that earlier. Um, hopefully this doesn't make this run last like 47 years now, but 
it, sh it shouldn't. You know, I mean, we still can see the map. We can still have a rough idea of where we're going. Uh, yeah. Oh, this room is not fun. Okay, never mind. It's not fun if you're having a bad run. That's for sure. Oh, let's go. Oh, uh, let's get the bomb. I'm surprised this Crystal Maze hasn't popped uh, and done its thing yet. Hey, we lost our womb thing, but I guess Basement Boy is uh, uh, what this run was destined to unlock. Are you gonna pop up, please? There we go. All right. Uh, there's this soap. Yeah, Curse of Base hasn't even like happened. I don't understand. I guess this run is just lucky, too lucky for that, for that to even happen. Oh, the cheers up. Very nice. And next floor. Womb two. Uh, chest, chest, and nothing really of interest here. We already got Cricket's head. I suppose we could have gotten like. Guppy's tail? Can that come from gold chest? I think it can, right? Don't remember. Um, yeah. We already got like some gold chest items, so I don't know what I was really expecting there, to be honest. Yeah. There we go, there we go. And pill, what do you speed down? I found pills. And... Super Envy. Oh, jeez. Hi. Oh. Um, okay. Two Troll Bombs. That's the that's the reward that everyone likes to get after beating two Envies. That's, yep. Oh, hi. Hello. <laughs> Alright, so this run is just about to come to a close. I know we still have, like, a couple floors to go. But, you know, it's pretty close. Uh, this run so far has gone amazingly. I don't really know. I mean, the seed, I know the seed, you can't really take anything from the seed, but I mean, it sort of looks like two words. It looks like late cane. I'm not, yeah. So maybe if there's any late canes, that means that um, there is a character called Kane. So maybe it's talking about in a past life, Kane was late and he had this amazing run and that caused him to unlock Basement Boy but not unlock uh, Samson. That makes sense, right? I dodged into that tier. I don't... Um, okay. Where are you, Pin? Show yourself. Oh, two pins. Oh, hello. Okay. And it lives. And it dies soon. Ow. And it dies. Let's go. What do you have for me? Go ahead and Guppy's collar. No reason I take you ahead at this point. I would do hush. You know what? I'm doing hush. <laughs> I'm doing hush. First hush run of this save file. Let's go. So if you've never seen this floor before, usually these doors have uh, keyholes, but since we have pay to win or pay to play, they're um, coin doors. Um, they have four golden chests in here. Obviously you can get some gold I chest items from these, but uh, I'm just giving two goals at this point. Uh, so these rooms are both item rooms. I don't think this is worth it, but I suppose they can contribute to bookworm. Um, so both these side rooms are item rooms, and the bottom one's a shop. <laughs> Continuum does nothing. But I suppose we should take this to contribute to Bob. The Bob transformation. Um, this is the shop. Diplopia and car battery. Wow. Okay. Um, well, I don't... I'm like 100% sure we have restock. We could break the game right here. We could break the game. I don't know um, what... If we get a steam sale, we could break the game. Because we have Diplobia, Restock, 
and a ton of bombs and the donation machine with lots of money. We could blow that up and get tons of more, tons of money. We could do this. More options. Sack head, very nice. We could break the game right here. Our first game break of the save file, I think. If we were to pull it off. Just give me a steam sale and it's broken. That's all I ask. I know I'm hurting our coordination machine here. But it has to be done. It has to be done. Let me just donate that. It must be done to make this break happen. Okay, this is actually going to be really boring, so... I might actually not carry out with this. Carry on with this, I mean. Although if I don't do it, I might not even beat Hush, because Hush is pretty annoying. So I may just do it just in case. I... but... yeah. Potato Peeler. Yeah, this is going to take a while. So yeah, how's your day? Uh, oh, it's good? Oh, that's that's marvelous. Um, how's the weather? Oh, it's all oh, the weather's good. Oh, that's that's good. Okay. Um, yeah. So this is gonna take approximately 40 million years. So if you, well, I accidentally bought a key. Um, so if you click off the video, I do not blame you. Actually, stay in the video and don't click off because, um, I don't know. Champion belt. That's nice. Portable slot. You know, I might not even stay there and try to break the game. I might just go to Hush and just try to kill his face. You know, I don't really want to spend a million years there trying to get Steam Sale. But at the same time, I kind of do because it's the first game break of the save file, I think. Right now, I'm looking for a crawl space. Hopefully, we can come across one. You know what? I made up my mind. I'm gonna stay there and uh, look for Steam Sale. I think that's a. I think that's um, something we should do. <laughs> I'm just kind of trying to clear up the room here. Of unnecessary things. Uh, okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, we see Steam Sale to do it, you know? If the game could be so kind to give a Steam Sale, that would be very nice of them, but otherwise, yeah. The jar is doesn't the jars doesn't really look like Steam Sale. It's not really Steam Sale like. I'm sorry to say, but yeah, I don't know. If that bomb was just a little closer to the, to the donation machine. I could have saved one bomb. Mr. Me, I'm just gonna use it on this. Hopefully, get item for free. There we go. Oh, I bought it. <laughs> I didn't. I was trying so hard not to do that. Uh Blue map. Oh, let's go. Little baggy. Okay. Um, what I'm gonna do? I literally like pretty much have to use Mr. Me on this because Mr. Um, little bat, Mr. Baggy. No, little baggy is the worst thing ever and could ruin something. All right, let's go. Steam sale. Let's go. Even more. All right. Little um, little baggy uncovered the secrets of amazingness. Whatever that means. Okay, we're we're in the clear. We're in the clear. Double steam sale. Um, double steam sale. Uh, shop refresh. We're good. We broke the game. I just have to get. Um, where's Mr. Me over there? I said I get this. That is not what I wanted to do. I get this, and then you'll see the magic that happens after I do this. Look at, look, look at all the item prices, and boom. And look at this, zero dollars, or zero cents, zero cents. Yeah, we're, we're, it's busted. We got chaos, we can get any item now. Sacrificial altar, I'm gonna use this. Okay. We were guppy. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna sit on this for a little bit, you know. Mob's contact is in the basement, okay. Uh, lunch. Mob, uh, Bob's curse, seven seals. You know we're we're in the clear. An angry fly is pretty in the basement. Okay, a quarter, twenty-five cents. You know we don't need any money anymore. 
We're a new pill has arrived. Or appeared. Arrived. Holy light. Bomber boy. Bob's pearls. Able. Smart fly. Yeah, we're. You don't need me to see all these items. We're good. Just some damage ups will do. Her mom's knife, I guess. Actually, that's good for Hush. That's really good for Hush. Although, um, Guppy flies won't be generated that much, but that doesn't really matter at this point. Now, does it? Black Candle, got bombs. Yeah, we're good. Just want to get some extra things that I think will help. Perhaps, um, perhaps like Quad Shot or something like that. But other than that, we, we are unstoppable. Our first game break, I don't... I didn't think it was going to happen at all, ever. Uh, probably. No, th no, this is quite the thing. I mean, it's it's very fun to break the game this late in the game, especially when like you have a run that was probably destined to fail from the start. Just because it just gives you extra hope that you can actually like beat the game. Where do those items come from? Oh, a mom's coin purse? I don't know. I saw like a random rune pop up and some cards. We have starter deck. Yeah, starter deck did that. Okay, why can't we pick up the item anymore? Oh, it's on top of another one. No, no. We're, we get over here now. We're good. I'm a mega. Okay. Throw off the treatment. Dead cat. That gave us all stat downs. Bump friend. Glitter bombs. Just want to get some extra items that I think they could help us. We also, we also, I can't talk. We, um, we actually lost nine damage up. We lost all our health because of dead cat, but we should be able to get it back fairly easily from the like, Satanic Bible and Book of Rev and stuff. Um, but yeah, we're pretty much set. Nothing really else to say, especially the breakfast we get from um. From uh, just chaos in itself. Definitely does a lot for us. Little horn. I think we're good. I know this is getting kind of boring, but I think we're good at this point. Damage upgrade right at the end. See what we look like. Okay, just some knives. Wow, that was amazing. 50 damage. Wow, his health is like disintegrating. I guess we'll hush his health go down. Wow, this is beautiful. Oh, sad bombs. Oh, no. What is going on? What is going on? The fire is th disintegrating him. Oh. We have fast bombs, too. Oh, he's dead. And it's gone. Oh, my gosh. That was beautiful. I actually didn't mean to do that. But I guess the run's over. <laughs> um, Yeah. So that's that. Mob of the Void is appeared in the basement. That's a really good item. You like the Void. A uh, new floor. So that was really fun. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode as much as I did. That was amazing. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you did. And see you guys next time. That was that was intense.